welcome viewers once again in the series of lectures on latex in the last lecture we have learned what is latex and how to download and install and we have also seen what are the online websites where we can write code of latex and see the output in this video we are going to discuss how to make a simple document in latex we will see how we can do the same thing online and in the software also. So let us see. In the last lecture, we have installed CTEC, which can be accessed uh, from the start menu. Here is the CTEC program which I have installed. So once I click here, so I can see the components or add-ons which are installed here. We can see the ghost script also is there and then graphics is also there. GS view is also there and uh, there is some manual also there and uh, uh, DVI previewer also there and make text setting and everything is there. So here is a win edit. It was inbuilt in CTEC. So this is a simple uh, shortcut we can create on desktop using this one. I'm just opening it. Just click on it. It will open. Uh, so we need to just wait. So here, uh, here is the view of this editor, the Vin Edit. You can always see uh, here unregistered copy, but uh, we need not to worry about this one because this is not going to. Uh, uh, create any problem so we can just uh, cross it and then if we can close it everything so this is what we have we can now open a file uh, blank file so from here we can uh, just click directly here or on new file so just uh, click on here so we get a new document so uh, but when uh, you are going to use it uh, very first time the font size what we are going to type here will be very small but uh, I because I was uh, already using this software this editor so I have enhanced the size this size what is appearing here while we are typing uh, is independent of what we are going to get in the output that is that that will be different how much uh, we can uh, enhance this size it doesn't affect the output so uh, this uh, configuration we can set suppose now uh, this much is uh, the size so this setting uh, can be we can we can increase the size of this one so we can go to option and then uh, we can uh, click on preferences then go to font and then uh, change font then see uh, i have uh, selected courier new and then regular it is uh, recommended that uh, one, one need to select regular because it is uh, easy to see here. And then uh, we can enhance the size of this one. I have selected uh, 26. I, I can uh, keep it 28. So just uh, OK and then OK. So you, you can see that it has enhanced. But now I'm going to tell uh, what is uh, um, uh, what, how we can uh, make it. Uh, simple find in LaTeX. Basically, the first line uh, is a declarative command. Uh, one more thing before moving further is that uh, uh, to use this software, one need to be uh, a little bit conversant with the uh, uh, computer applications. A little bit conversant, uh, conversant is needed here. So uh, the first line here is a declarative command every command in latex start with backslash and this backslash is uh, uh, just below the backspace button uh, of your laptop or desktop so just put backslash and then the first line uh, what we call declarative command is document class document class and every uh, every command followed by some argument and that argument is written in curly braces. So usually uh, there are many uh, document class in LaTeX, but uh, we usually use uh, 
article for typing uh, uh, a research article or we can also uh, instead of this one we can write uh, uh, we can write uh, and just say a m s r or uh, book but uh, we need to type only one uh, one uh, one thing here that is article at one time and after that the second line uh, the second line is we are going to write begin begin document begin document and then uh, end document so spelling you can also correct you can just uh, take cursor over it and then uh, you right click on it and then choose the correct one so this is a begin document and in document the uh, space between uh, the first line that is a document class and the document class article and begin document is called preamble is called preamble so whatever we write uh, uh, between document class article and uh, this line begin document is called preamble so uh, this is uh, some normal creature uh, what we write so whatever we are going to write uh, in uh, between begin document and end document they are going to appear uh, in our output file so uh, the first line is document class article and then uh, we have written begin document and in, in, and end document in between we are going to write something okay so whatever the texture matter uh, we, we can write here uh, this is my first first file in and uh, uh, for to write latex uh, there is a command uh, like this l a t e and caps x so this will give us a latex uh, in a in a in a particular style so to run this one to execute this one uh, just a click here uh, you you see if if you take cursor here then uh, in drop down menu we are seeing many many things are there but what we need here usually we uh, make a pdf or a dvi file using textify so we can select this one also we can select this one but uh, by default we are we are we select your pdf textify because uh, most of the places in fact almost all places we need only pdf so just select it and just uh, click over it so it will execute but before execution it will ask where you want to save the file so we can uh, we can uh, browse and uh, give the path where we want to save this file so uh, and once we save the file then uh, it will run automatically and give us output so uh, here suppose uh, on desktops suppose i am selecting this one and then uh, i'm i'm giving some name suppose the uh, first first and one more thing uh, is important uh, while we are naming uh, the file we need not to give any blank space that is first file not like this kind of thing it may corrupt our file so if at all uh, if you want to give some space so let us uh, give some name like this some underscore or something but don't uh, don't leave there any white space okay so and there there are many uh, many file extension also uh, be uh, tech and then bib tech is there then meta font is there so many and then uh, here we see sty file style file is there so so many files are extend files files extension extensions are there so we need to uh, select this is by default it will be tech only so let us save it so once we save it so we are we are going to see some output so it will run and it will produce uh, some output a pop up window will automatically open so just uh, it is asking to download because uh, the sumatra pdf viewer is outdated so 
uh, we can we can just resume it so this is uh, my first file in latex this is what uh, we can see here so uh, one thing is uh, beauty is there once we click uh, double click uh, uh, left left click here uh, then uh, we see that uh, we are going to the root code what is written here so uh, this is only a uh, few things I have written here the first one first one is a declarative command and after that uh, after the preamble starts uh, until the begin document and then whatever we are going to write in begin document in begin document in document is going to appear in output so this is a, a simple file so uh, if if you want to only type something uh, uh, text then uh, we need not to add any 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 more add-ons uh, like uh, packages in it so uh, we can write whatever we want okay so just now see here it is coming uh, in the left if you want it to uh, keep it in middle so we can just select it and uh, then we see here uh, there is center then is left right and code verbatim is there so if you want to keep in center so there is a we can select and then we can keep or we can uh, otherwise we can type the command begin center and end center and uh, one more thing is there in latex when we are, we are writing some command it uh, usually starts with a small letter um, after backslash but there are some uh, symbols which starts with the uh, uh, caps capital letters also capital letters also okay so uh, now we will see here just run it and we will see this is the output this is now it is it is in the center so if it want to make it uh, bold so we can select it and uh, uh, we can go here so just uh, select it this one so we can write text bf we can type it this also so uh, and then run so we are going to see this one you see so this is a coming in the center and then uh, it is in bold okay so uh, this is how we can uh, we can we can prepare a simple document so there are many things uh, in uh, in file you, we can we can see here new and then open then reload then save then save all is there then save as then save copy these are the options so what uh, usually we get in uh, uh, Microsoft Office also then uh, there is another option is there uh, in here in search then we can find uh, some particular word in whole file uh, so this is asking for oh, search to search something so let me search if uh, suppose I want to search this so let us see so this is here this one okay so if you want replace then also there is an option find and then a replace option is there let me see so suppose here replace so let us replace this by suppose I'm writing it and then we can replace all or we can say okay so this one so it is it will ask do you want to replace it suppose you want yes so it is yes okay so uh, also there is an option for undo so here undo is undo option there we, we can uh, press ctrl and then z or uh, we can just click on it so we will be uh, the changes will be rolled back okay so i am just telling some options here so from here we can uh, we can uh, see uh, the types of uh, font uh, bold or emphasize or uh, teletype and from here we can see the alignment also here from uh, we can see the numbering and all uh, so suppose I want something uh, to be numbered something list kind of thing so in itemize uh, we will uh, we will see something um, uh, item one there there won't be any number but uh, something uh, in bullets suppose uh, we are writing a b and then s then uh, something here something and then uh, here also so let us run see if it is running so it is uh, this is how we can see okay and then uh, we can also if it will if you want number 
then uh, go here and then uh, select enumerate and then suppose we are three items okay three items it is not that we only can write here three items we can write more than three or hundreds of items okay so here if you want something to write something so just write something blah 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 and then run it okay so uh, this is how we can uh, we can get a number number kind of thing okay so uh, suppose we want some paragraph so we can write uh, this is uh, this is my first paragraph okay so uh, let me copy it again and again one more thing uh, it doesn't matter uh, the space if you are if I'm giving more than one space it will consider only one space it will not consider unlike uh, in word file so many spaces okay so this is the uh, I compute the same content many times and just I'm running so uh, in the new paragraph it will automatically give indent okay so it will automatically uh, also uh, justify the left justification and right, just, right justification you can see uh, unlike uh, in word ms word file we need to do it uh, manually again and again and it will fit automatically if you are if you are writing something in between here so uh, it will adjust if it, it this will find the space in that line then uh, uh, it will adjust in that line so here you see the this is my first paragraph and the second one here so i am giving i have given here so many so much space so much space i have given but the thing is that uh, there will be only suitable space you see only same space is there everywhere okay so this is how we can uh, even i can copy this um, many times and then i am pasting it and again so you see uh, so everything is coming very nicely all right so if you want to uh, suppose that this is a uh, if, if you are writing something letter kind of thing suppose then uh, suppose to and then uh, for new line for new line uh, we need to type double slash or we can command write command backslash new line uh, but anyway double backslash is there to the and then uh, uh, principal okay and then uh, Ramanujan college all right so uh, here for your we need a new line we can just type backslash and uh, one more thing uh, if you if you if you are forgetting for what we are using so we can write comment so for to write comment we need to uh, just write uh, a percent sign and if we can type anything it will not be read and executed by uh, the file in the file so uh, i'm just writing new line new line so this is used for new line okay so uh, let us see what is the output of this one you see so here something indent is there but uh, i don't want indent so let us see uh, no indent we can we can write here no indent and then uh, let us see if indent is in, in, in there. so here you see there is no indent so now it is looking very nice okay so uh, let us uh, put something here suppose uh, I want something uh, put my name Virendra so I want this to be right justified so just uh, go here and then select right okay so this is a begin plus right and uh, end plus right so in between whatever you want type you can write here okay so uh, this is a uh, just to execute this will give us a so this is now something application kind of thing and here something i have written so this is a just uh, uh, just uh, i was telling how to produce a simple file okay and uh, if I, I want to make it bold and all then we can very much do very easily so uh, this uh, how we can uh, produce a uh, simple file 
so I, i'll stop now in the next video i will discuss how to uh, create uh, a file in which mathematical expressions are involved and then slowly we will move towards how to prepare or how to type a research article along with the references and every component in a latex file thank you